Now the first thing that tells me that this golf club in hand is severely underestimated is the fact that it's still got its wrapper on it. I think it's about two years since this was brought out. Now, as you know, this channel is all about the average golfer. And one of my big things in recent months, maybe the past year or so, is to try and make this game as simple as possible. And believe me, as golfers, all I see is we make it just as difficult as we can. And when I say make the game easier for average golfers, if any of you watched the US PGA Championships last week and paid a close attention to what DJ had in his bag, you'll notice there was an interesting addition. You see, the thing is, if you pay some close attention, Dustin Johnson, one of the biggest hitters on the planet, he put a nine wood in the bag, would you believe? And that's in addition to his seven wood. So when I walk into the custom fit room this morning here at Four Golf and I see a club like this with the wrapper still on it, it begs the question, what are we doing in terms of our uh, mentality? Certainly as average golfers, if the best in the world are putting these kind of clubs in the bag, then why aren't we? Because clearly, if this thing has still got the wrapper on, well, we're not greatly interested in it. Oh my word, it's just so easy to play. Half a average swing to say the least. Ball goes up in the air, it travels 150 yards plus, it comes down at a great descent angle, it stops on greens, it's a seven hybrid. You lot just won't even go near one. In fact, when you go into custom fit, you don't even ask them to take the wrapper off. So come on, hands up right now in that comment section below, who has actually tried a nine wood, a seven wood, a seven hybrid, a five hybrid? Let me know because I reckon the percentage of comments I see, the majority of you won't even go near a club like this. And that's because of perception. And that perception is this. You think they're only used for walking sticks for old people. You think that people with slow swing speeds and uh, Anyone over the age of 70 are the type of golfer that really needs this type of club in the bag. And I think you're completely wrong. In fact, if you tried one, I know you're wrong. So today's video is not about the Mizuno JPX Fly High Hybrid. It's a fantastic club, don't get me wrong. Looks incredible at address, loads of loft, 29 degrees, does all the things I've just said in terms of uh, data attributes. But the main reason for today's video is to just talk about that mentality thing and why we, as average golfers, just think we're too good for so many clubs that are out there. They're probably at five shots, they've done exactly the same thing on every single one of them. And that's what I just described. Up in the air, 150 yards, maybe a little bit more than that. Nice descent angle, I'm repeating myself, you get the picture. So the question is, what is it gonna to take to change perception? Is it a fact of the more players you see, like Dustin Johnson putting seven woods and nine woods in the bag, maybe that's gonna change opinion? Because I know from talking to manufacturers that the sales of this type of club are nowhere near that of the big dogs in the bag, the driver, which is great for manufacturers' perspective. It's the hardest club for average golfers to use. But we've got so much interest in that kind of thing, but little interest in seven hybrids and nine woods. And I just wonder, when that is gonna change. These do a fantastic job. I'm close to the ball in terms of length of shaft. I've got plenty of loft. Mizuno do a great job with the white lines on the face of me seeing plenty of that face and that loft and giving me plenty of confidence. And all I know right now is I've got half a swing to put on this and this ball is gonna get up in the air. It's gonna go where I want it. And it makes golf a damn sight easier. Well, weird, aren't we? Now three or four balls hit outside here from, uh, well, from a fluffy lie on the turf. And again, the assistance that this kind of thing gives, well, again, is incredible. If you look at the ball flight, you'll see that it goes incredibly high. And yet again, it seems to be swinging fairly easy, not doing a great deal in terms of effort. And that ball's just firing on out there. So as I wander back in on my old man's walking stick or a seven hybrid, I think my uh, final summary is this. Golf doesn't need to be as hard as we make it. We can choose to go down routes that make it a little bit simpler. As ever, I will add the caveat at the end for everybody who likes to point out that yes, lessons and better technique certainly will ultimately make you a better golfer. I'm fully aware of that and I encourage you to do that as well. But there are clubs out there 
that we choose to ignore through nothing other than our own, I would say ignorance, maybe, but I just think it's a belief that we're probably better than we actually are. And I'll also say as a caveat, I probably put myself into that same category. I know I feel myself as much as you do. Anyway, that's it. I ain't gonna go about drive all data. It's not about how good this club performs. It's not about, it's about the mentality of us as average golfers. I'm not too sure why I'm particularly interested in uh, changing that. It doesn't make any difference to me, but I like to do these videos that sort of ask questions. And there's another one for you. So answers in the comments down below. And I'll see you all soon.